As we start moving into the colder months, residents are more likely to notice cases of damp and mould in their homes. We expect that the current cost of living crisis will make this worse for residents as they struggle to meet the high cost of heat in their homes. If you're a council tenant or in a private rented home, there are things that the council can do to help. If the council manages your property, make sure you contact our mould removal team at the first site of damp and mould. We will arrange an appointment to inspect your home to identify and deal with the cause of the problem. We will then follow up to clean the mould and to give advice to prevent it from returning. On our visits, we'll go to the tenant's house, check out the, the work, see what needs to be done. We do explain to them the materials that we do use. We scrub out the mould and then we put a surface barrier on top and make it to dry for two hours and um, to make sure that the tenants are happy with the work. Many people ask us uh, if the product is toxic, it's not toxic, it's uh, uh, eco-friendly, no contains uh, bleach, no worries about uh, the bleach or everybody can stay in home and not toxic, all right? And they're very happy with that. If you're in a private rented home and your landlord is unresponsive to the concerns you have, the private sector housing team can insist by inspecting your property to ensure that it's free of hazards. In any case, we want to help. So if you're experiencing damp or mold in your home, get in touch with us as early as possible and we will do what we can to resolve the issue before it gets any worse. Visit the Wanza Council website to see what help and support we can offer.